and we're continuing our every day in May celebration and it wouldn't be springtime without a little bit of flower planting. So we're gonna get our garden all ready for the summer and enjoy this beautiful spring weather. Alright, we got the boys over here working hard. You just load in manure. <laughs> They're getting our soil all turned and fertilized. We've got our nice flower bed up here and we're gonna get everything planted. Alright, well mommy got Wally some special springtime goodies. You wanna open it up? Let's see what's in there. Let's see. What did you get for springtime? You gonna be my gardening helper? Ooh, what's that? Oh, water, water. Ooh, cool watering I can. Hey, Mama. Yeah. I be water to that too. Yeah, you can water all the things. Okay, what else is in here? Ooh, cool. Who opened it? Look at a Cosmos and Daisies kit. That's really cool. Okay, what else? What else? What else is in here? I is on deck. <gasps> Wally, what is that? <laughs> We got a cool dinosaur planter. Ooh, there's seed pops. We got a tomato seed pop and a strawberry seed pop. Those are cool. Ooh, a sunflower growing kit. And look at your cool tools. You're gonna be all set to help me garden. All right, so this is our fun little pumpkin patch that we have in the backyard because this is actually where our mini girl is buried underground. So we always plant some pumpkins here because that was her favorite, favorite thing. All right, we're gonna plant our jalapenos and our bell peppers up here. Mm. We've got all of our tomatoes, and then this is a pretty dianthus, which is like a miniature carnation, which is my favorite flower. And we've got some zucchini and some butternut squash, which will hopefully kind of just grow down around here. And then we're gonna plant his little seed pops in here. Okay, Wally, you wanna help me plant them? You're already planting that one? We're gonna work on our cosmos and our sunflowers. Yep, so you can put these in there too. Put, put those, look at, Wally, well, look at, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Whoa. When they don't go. Well, it takes a little while for things to grow. Yeah. I might don't go when the dun dun go down. This is my last planter. It's our little front patio oasis. And I always plant lemongrass every year because it actually keeps the mosquitoes away and it's a nice natural way to keep them away. And then I add in some pain patience as well. We actually call these caterpillar flowers. Does anybody else call them that? Because they get the little like seed heads after they've grown out and you can pop them and then they look like little caterpillars. It's my, it was always my favorite thing when I was little and now Wally loves it. So we call them caterpillar flowers. So let's get these planted. This stuff smells horrible, but it really does well. When Mark finished up the back garden while I was working out front, we put this up every year. Um, last year we didn't put it up right away and 
we got hit with hail on the 4th of July while we were out of town. So this year we've got it up right away. We just do some like PVC pipe and then some screen cloth over it. And then we use the little bungee cords on the end and it protects it from the hail. And then we plant the tomatoes over here and then the peppers over there so we can still get in and get those out. And then in the middle, that's where I have all my squash and flowers and strawberries. So those are things I shouldn't really need access to a whole lot, but you can reach up under the sides if you need to. But this works super well, so I'm so excited that we have our garden all planted. We are ready for spring, we are ready for summer, and hopefully we have a really good garden this year. We've got lots of peppers, lots of tomatoes, zucchini, pumpkins. Mark even has a lime tree. I don't know if I showed you this before, but he found this little key lime tree and was super excited about it. So maybe we'll have some limes too, we'll see. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for watching our little springtime flower and gardening vlog since we can't be in Epcot at the Flower and Garden Festival. This was the perfect way to feel like we could bring it here to home. So let me know if you guys have a garden. I'd love to know if you guys plant a garden every year and what are your favorite things to grow in your garden? Are you, do you do like a salsa garden or flowers or anything really cool or different or exotic in your garden i'd love to know so leave that in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching make sure you give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe so you can stay tuned for all the fun stuff that we have coming ahead to celebrate every day in may this is the wonderful world of walter and we love you just the way you are bye